I need an onion. Mm -hmm. The salad. Look at the salad, baby. Right there. That's it. Hey, y'all. Me and my little grandbaby. Um, yeah, that's it right here. That's an onion. Me and my little grandbaby, Emery, we're here cooking us some cute steak and gravy. We just gonna have a sandwich. We don't need a whole plate. We just gonna have a sandwich, right? Just a sandwich. Yeah, we just... Yeah, we're gonna make us a gravy sandwich with you. Mm-hmm. So once we get all these little cubes brown to the texture that we want them to be, we're gonna add some um oh thank you, babe. That's garlic. Say garlic. Garlic. Yes. So we're gonna add um some onions and flour to this in a little bit. Once it gets the texture out, like now for many people this is good texture right here. But I love a little crust. Okay, y'all, so this is gonna be this is gonna be like a tomato gravy. In over on this cube steak. We just about right here. Yes, it is. Wish I could smell how good this smells. Mmm, mmm, that smells so good. Okay, so once it gets to cooking down like this, I did take out a few pieces of the meat. Because some pieces, I don't want everything grated, okay? Some of it I don't. Let's add this flour in. <laughs> now, see here? This is what's going to help our chicken in this stuff. You want it to go right down in that, that stuff that looks burnt, but it's not. You want to go right down in there, move it around until it becomes the color that you desire your gravy to be. Now, personally, I like to cook the flour taste out of mine, so mine is usually like a darker gravy. Okay, so this is ready. It's time to look. We're going to add some water to this. Don't worry, y'all. It's going to become gravy. Don't worry. We're going to let it cook down. And this will be our tomato gravy. Sure will. This is our tomato gravy. We're going to cook it down till it thickens up some for us. It's got to thicken up. And y'all, I need not do anything else. This is it. This is good enough right now. This is thickening. We're going to cut it off and let it finish cooking through a simmer of its own, you know, through its own heat, you know. And that's it. Just let it firm up. Once it cools down, it'll firm up some. And then that's going to make good over a piece of toast, piece of regular bread. I'm just going to have mine over whole wheat bread, to be honest. And this is the end result right here. Yes, babe. That's just how I make you mine, just like that. Got your bits and pieces in there that we scraped up from the pan to make our gravy, give our gravy some flavor. Got the tomatoes stewed down. The onion sauteed in there. Y'all know this is going to be some goodies. Yes, it's not as pretty as I would hope, but it's good. And anytime that you make this, you can also cook rice. But today's a lazy day. I'm not doing all that. This is just what I want. It's enough. More than enough. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>